Takes it home, and there it is. One final match remaining here at the 2015 Texas State Championships, and it ought to be a good one as we again head down to table number one. For the open singles final, Tony Spraderman yeah, right. will start the match on the left side of the table and on the right, of course, the familiar figure of Ryan Moore. Brad Anderson, always a classic matchup. Seeing it here again at the Texas State Championships. Spraderman coming from the loser side. Moore won the winner's bracket, and Ryan will have the first scoring opportunity here in game number one. Yeah, and over, over the past few years, it's been a, a, a frequent matchup. This may go down, like you know, really in the in the history of the game as one of those real legendary rivalries between these guys. I think again, overall, they probably got a pretty even record. Ryan Moore probably a little bit pulling ahead recently, but both these guys are uh, their games are so evenly matched, and the aggression and the and the uh, confidence that these guys have while they're playing. Uh, again, you look at the stats from the last few years: uh, tournaments won, singles championships won, and. Almost every single one of them at a mid-size or larger tournament has been won by one of these two gentlemen. Of course, Todd Lafredo slipped one in, I think, in national championships last year in St. Louis. But other than that, it's been either Ryan Moore or it's been Tony Spreadham. Ryan on the scoreboard first here in game number one. And oftentimes, it's both. I mean, it's, it's one or the other in those finals. Oh, Ryan back down the middle with that one. It's 2-0. And it is indeed a rival. Yes, they're friends. They're former teammates for Team USA, of course. But fierce rivals as well. well neither one of these guys likes to lose, so that... Uh... And they both play the game at, at such a high level. And Ryan Moore quickly out of the gate. It's 3 nothing. And apparently Ryan has some place to go because he's playing at a, a blistering pace here. Well, you talk about the level, the bar that these guys play at. And really you can count on less than one hand the number of players who ever have played at that level. Obviously Frederick Collignon, Billy Pappas I think, of course. Other than that, I'm not sure you're going to find anybody who has played the game maybe in the history of the sport. At such a high level over over a, a, an extended period of time. Yep. You guys got, you, you have guys out there on occasions have had hot streaks and have a few tournaments uh, you know, they get some wins, but these guys have been, both these guys, as young as they are, have been doing it for a long time already. Ryan Moore jumped out <clears throat> with the first three. Tony Spraderman has come back to cut the lead to one. Ryan sitting, waiting. Tried to come down the middle, and Tony got a piece of it, but it trickles in. It's 4-2. Yeah. And your regular humans seem to plateau at some point. Uh, especially Ryan Moore, he just keeps getting better. He keeps elevating his game, adding more and more. And you really can say that about both these guys, but it's been probably more obvious, as you say, with Ryan Moore over the last couple of years than a little dink here by Tony Spraderman. Well, the difference is, is, is Ryan Moore's two rock. I mean, Tony still, that's his style, is to play that two to five. But Ryan is just throwing so much stuff out there off the two rock. Slingshots. We just saw the little kind of, I don't even know what you want to call it. It's one game to nothing. It's Ryan Moore with a strong effort in this opening game. One game to nothing. In favor of Ryan Moore. And Tony comes out first here in this second game. Starts Ryan now only two games away from the Texas State title. He's already won doubles. Neither of these guys have won mixed doubles. Instead, we had just a classic final earlier today. Ryan Moore was involved in it, but it was the ruse and probably the best match of the year so far. Amazing match where Ryan Moore scored 15 of his first 16 shots. Played almost perfect, but the Ruse came back somehow to win it. Two nothing lead here in the second game. Two one now. Ready? Yeah. 
Mahoney shot up into the air and off the table. And again, the pace of this match so far has been, I mean, really, really fast. Lawrence hits the very beginning of what could be an extremely long match if Tony is able to pull out this opening set. But Ryan again from goal. These two faced off at last year's Tornado World Championships. And the thing that did Tony spread of it in as Ryan won the championship was Ryan's ability to shoot from the two rod. I think he scored seven in the final. Tony able to answer here, it's 3-2. And the other remarkable thing is both of these young men have been playing all weekend and they still they're maintaining the energy level and um, the power games that, bo it, you know, that both of these guys play, it's, it's, it's incredible. Knocked in by Tony. Now he's up 4 2 here in game number two. And these, both these guys are pulling out the stops, too. They're not playing your basic uh, pass and shoot, shoot game here. Both of them getting creative, playing a little bit up tempo, freestyling just a bit. And Brian now cutting the lead to one. Of course, they're both so good at that. Tony's pass blocked. Comes back to Tony in the goal area. Using the left hand off the outside wall, Ryan will step back to retrieve it. And Tony steals it. Looking to even the match up at a game apiece, and he does. One game apiece as we head to game number three. And that pass rimmed off both posts. Big up by Ryan. Quick shot near side, taken away by Tony. I mean, these guys aren't even taking taking time between games. They're just looking at the slinger and setting up the snake, flipping, and a little bit of a fortunate effort there as it hit off the man off the wall and went in. Spreadman looking to answer. We're tied up at a game of peace in the opening set. It's now 1 1. You're in game number three. Brian snapping off that wall pass. Try to come near side. Spreadman with a block. Trying to pass your side. There's a rarity. Something you don't see very often. Tony, uh, someone actually uh, getting a steal off a 22 to 5 series. Does not happen often. And Ryan now up 2 1. Tony quickly along that far wall. This man has really been played at a fast pace. And these guys are trying to get out of town before the, the storm hits. It might be too late for that. Did we mention it rained a lot here this weekend? <laughs> That's an understatement. How many inches of rain did we get for the weekend? Six, seven? I recall seeing a weather report yes, just for the day yesterday, I think it was over three inches of rain. And that's a lot. And the timeout here. <laughs> Even the timeouts are short. <laughs> Up into the air and off the table here. Ready? Yeah. 2-1 lead for Ryan Moore here in game number three. Tony 
Again, Ryan doing a good job defensively against the two to the five. Wow, nice shot. And angled into the goal intentionally by Spreiderman. It's 2-2. I think most players would really enjoy having the two-rod offensive power <laughs> in their right hand that Tony displays with his left. It's just incredible. Yeah, he's an amazing shooter. He's a better shooter with his left hand, I think, than he is with his right. It's really something to watch. Of course, you never know if he's going to pass or shoot. Certainly going to shoot here. Trying to come near side there is that rebound. And again, does he ever miss that? I don't think so. A quick pull kick off the rebound is an amazing weapon for him. In the singles format, Ryan answers. 3-3. Three, three. Well, I mean, and it's amazing how he can hit that on the fly. You and I both have a fair amount of experience shooting kick shots. Yeah. And that toss is so important in, in having a, you know, a consistent shot. And he just... It's a reflection of the amazing yeah. the ball control that he has. And the hand-eye, both these guys, just phenomenal. And Spraydeman leads two games to one. Tony Spreadman has surged ahead two games to one in this opening set. Ryan, I think, was looking to knock that off the wall and then slam it in. He is trying to it again. Tony passes back to his two rod. We could cue up the calliope music here pretty soon. <laughs> Tony comes out with a slingshot. Not that I'm surprised that he can do that. Moore pumped that one on goal. It's 1-0 here in the fourth game. Spreideman leading two games to one. Tony trying to send it to a second set. And a beautiful wow. shot by Moore. Wow. Give Tony shake his head. That was a nice shot. Begrudgingly, of course. But well, of course. It's going, why didn't I think of that? Or Tony's thinking, I could have done that with my left hand. <laughs> Tony to tie. It does. It's 2-2 two -two here in game number four. Two games to one lead for Tony Spreadman in a match that uh, about 15 minutes long. Or as Mark Torres used to talk about the left-handed sword fighting. Ryan angles that one into the goal with a five. Tony, quick pass, dink, goes wide. Tony doesn't mis-execute that pass to the dink or the pull kick very often. Ryan has really put on a clinic back here with some trick shooting from the two rod. Has scored a couple of beautiful shots. Resetting his time there. <laughs> Wrapping things up here in Texas. Another outstanding weekend. Steve Murray, David Raddick, and company doing a, a great job of running one of America's great events. I will add my thanks as well to Mr. Steve Murray. He always treats us so well when we come down here. He really does. And puts on a great event. Tony's tied it up at three. If you get a chance, those of you watching at home, 
uh, simply watch the two players' hands as they go handle to handle in, in transition as we go along here. It is really something to just watch. They're always in the right place. They know where to go. They get there quickly. And Ryan Moore now surging ahead. Kind of makes that widescreen uh, uh -huh. pretty handy to be able to watch all the, uh, again, the... Uh, it's set point for Tony Spraderman. The transition game and watch how these guys play. Ryan looking to send it to game number five. He does, so it was Ryan Moore's turn to win a game. And we head to a fifth and final game. Discover more at InsideFoos.com.